Hello people, Genem Polismata here. Today I'll show you how to use browser hacks and menu hacks on 10.6 to 10 uh, to 11.0. 11.0 uh, browser hacks and menu hacks has just just been released, and as such, I'll show you how to install it. So uh, as you can see, there we go, old 3DS. 10.6 to 11.0 Spider 31 hacks and for the new 3DS Skater 31 hacks okay so let's get to the next step so first of all you want to vis visit uh, smilum.github.io slash 3DS and you want to go over here preparing your SD card and download the homebrew starter kit This has a few useful homebrew apps and it has the boot.3dsx file, which you're definitely going to need. So there we go. Let's see what we have here. Some useful stuff. Anyway, uh, you're also going to need something else, which you can find by. What's its name? Mmap. I'm going to link this below. You're probably going to want this, especially if you were interested in using save managers and such. Some newer titles will need to use this, as well as Hacks 2.7, so just download the zip file. Okay, so for the next step you're going to need your 3DS SD card, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have your SD card in, uh, you're going to grab the boot.3dsx file and the 3ds folder, and you're just going to grab, uh, grab, uh, drop it there. I already did it, so I already have my stuff here. Next, the mmap XML files. You're going to need this. Just drag and drop the mmap folder to the root of your SD card. So, yeah. Next, you're going to grab the uh, latest menu hacks installer, which is not in this current starter kit. So, let me open that up. SD icon hacks, there we go. Download menu hacks 3.0. I'm going to leave the links to all of these files in the description, so don't worry about finding them. Yeah, this is pretty cool now. Lots of improvements. Cool. Okay. Okay, now we have Menu Hacks 3.0. You're just going to drag that and yeah, replace the menu hacks manager. And that's it for the steps on the PC. Now grab your console. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to open this page. I'll link it down below. It's the browser hacks page. Uh, you're going to need your 3DS. And first of all, if you are an, on an old system version, if you're using say 10.6 or 10.7 as the current latest version is 11.0 at the time you're watching this 11.0 might be outdated I don't know but yeah if, if your system version is not the most recent one you want to head into settings and ignore this string of text that will show here because my console is hacked but anyway you want to go into other settings, date and time, and you want to set today's date to 2000. First, first of January of 2000. Oh, there is, isn't there not a, a quicker way? Okay, first of January of 2000, and you want to set the current time to. 
zero 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 zero. Okay, that will allow you to bypass the browser version check if you're on an old system version. If not, you don't need to do this. Uh, so, what you have to do now is you have to set a theme. It doesn't matter which, which theme, but you have to set some theme. At, at even the default one, it doesn't matter. Just go and change your theme to something else, say simple red. It'll do. Now, you want to open up your browser. Go over to settings. And clear all of the save data. This will erase your, all of your bookmarks, history and settings, so if you want those, do whatever you want to. Once you've done all of that, and by that I mean if you need to change the date and time, uh, change the theme and delete the browser data, you want to hold L and R to open up the camera. And once you've done that, you want to click this button right there. There we go, the QR code button. And once that happens, you want to scan the QR code. It'll find the URL, which is the browser hacks one. Just go and launch that. Okay, welcome to the browser. Slide the stylus. Google, okay. So it'll load browser hacks unless it. Okay, there we go. Browser hacks. If it hangs, you have to restart and try again to scan the QR code and launch the browser because browser hacks is not exactly stable. So as you see, it seems to have hanged. So I'm going to shut down and try again. Okay, let's see if it works now. It should. It did the last two times I tried to record. There we go, yellow screen. That screen. Okay, orange screen. That's good. Now it's a matter of waiting. And hopefully, there we go, Hacks is launched. Once you've seen that, unless it hanged on a red screen or something, you should be good to go. And the homebrew launcher should come up. So now you want to go down to the menu hacks installer because that's something you're going to use more than browser hacks. And browser hacks is not exactly stable as you've noticed. Plus the changing date thing is annoying. So just open that up and let me show you. You can just install and you can hold R to while booting the system to launch menu hacks or you can configure the key. I want to configure it so type 1. is. Uh, I'm going to hold X and Y which are the keys I want to use to boot and then I'm going to hold bottom screen. There we go. Configuration successfully completed. Whoa. Next, I want a splash screen because I like splash screens. Okay, A button to continue. I'm going to use the default one, so this one. Okay, once you've done that, if you want to, just go and do install. And here, press B. Okay, browser hacks, uh, menu hacks has now been installed. This means that you can access the homebrew launcher while booting the console. So just go press B, press start, and you should go back to the homebrew launcher. Note that you can downgrade from 
uh, from um, home menu hacks from menu hacks if you have uh, 10.7 or lower you can't do that on 11.0 okay so now I'm just going to power off and next I'm going to boot uh, menu hacks so here we go hold X and Y okay ignore that that's my custom firmware There we go, menu hacks loader. Don't forget, menu hacks is not in 100% stable either, so it might crash. And if it does, just hold the power button until it shuts down and retry. Okay, so you now have access to the homebrew launcher on 11.0, 10.7, through browser hacks and menu hacks. This is pretty cool. Bah, pretty cool. It's a primary entry point that doesn't cost money and it's a secondary entry point that doesn't cost money. And menu hacks really is convenient. So that was it for today guys. If you enjoyed this video please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more. Bye!